about the guitar for a second? <clears throat> this guitar is from 1957. Cool. And all stock except for the pickups currently, right? Unfortunately, yes. It's uh, Schecter pickups with the toggle. Ah. What a beauty. It's an original 1957. You don't see too many of them. And you bought it in 77? I bought it around 78, 79. Wow. That's how it sounds. For about Roger. $650. Wow. Not anymore. <laughs> no. Not anymore. Do you still have the original pickups, Roger? Or did they, they... I think uh, I have them someplace. A friend of mine has them. And I have the original case. Wow. Which wow. is beat up. Nice. Cool. In the studio with Blue Rays. Tom. Hey, rhythm guitar and vocal. <coughs> Roger. Right, Lead guitar. Have? Um, I just need to straighten out level wise and stuff because it's a very that's a very like wow guitar yes. signal. So I had like I had to like no, tweak it. it. I mean, you play so much differently when you play than when you actually sound check like everyone else. <laughs> so I mean, you were really in it. So now I've got you. I've got you tamed. I've got you okay. within the parameters. Do it again from the top. <laughs> Sound too. I got a lot of buzz or anything. You know, you did. That's, that sound felt good to me. So, yay! I mean, it's buried within the song, so it's not doesn't it should stand out, stand out. Sort of like Beatlesque. Got to get some close-ups so of this while Roger's well, listening. Beatles. That's got its battle scars. Not as bad as Stevie Ray Vaughan's, but. And I don't smoke. So you didn't do that? I didn't do that. The, uh, anymore. the Keith Richards cigarette, that came like that. Yes, it did. Look at that, the original headstock. This thing is sweet. All worn out. Any, uh, yeah, what's the back look like? Oh, wow. Wow, that's sweet. It's hard to believe that uh, when that was in the uh, a showcase window back in 57, Buddy Holly was uh, the king, right? Yes. At the time. Very quick course. Sweet. Wish uh, they would have kept the original, though, but... Yep. Hey, it still sounds great, though. Maybe you can get the other pickups back. Okay, out in the studio area. So what amps do you use with a vintage 57 Strat? And the answer is vintage amps. Roger is setting up in stereo, so you might have noticed I've taken some uh, footage of his TC Electronics pedal board. It's really nice. He's got like an Eric Johnson, um, almost edge-like kind of thing going on there with his effects. But the amps that we're using, we're running in stereo. One of the amps is a Marshall. This is a very late 60s, early 70s, uh, a la Jimi Hendrix, really at the end. It's beautiful head, 50 watts, vintage plexi, going down into a modern Jubilee cabinet. This is a small cabinet with two 12 Celestians in it. The microphone we're using is a uh, Lawson L47, which is modeled after a Neumann U47. Uh, 
And the other amp we've got here for stereo, this is the cabinet. This is a 410 Marshall. It has 410 Celestians in it too. Vintage 30s like this cabinet has vintage 30s in it too. These are 12s. This one has 410s. mic with the Royer ribbon microphone, if you can see that. And the amp we're using is a vintage 1960 Fender Tolex Bassman. This is a really sweet sounding amp. Uh, you can see it in some vintage Who shots. Pete Townsend's got one. There's a bunch of uh, old players. I think Van Halen, this is a favorite of his too. It's got the flat logo on it, unmodified. It has a brown face, not a black. White Tolex. This is um, a very early model, like I said, 1960. Uh, Brian Setzer is a big fan of these as well. He uses two of them on stage. So it's this amp along with the Marshall that you saw that we're running in stereo because Roger runs stereo out of his pedal board up there. So we're running it out here at that way, mic'd in stereo. And Tom is using this Vox. This Vox is really sweet. It's a reissue um, AC30. And uh, we didn't show you Tom. We're going to try and get some footage of Tom later on playing a nice stand electro guitar through through this setup. And what we're miking it with is it's in stereo, picking up with a stereo Royan, Royal Ribbon microphone. I think it's the SF12 is this model. Um, and this amplifier, you might have seen this amplifier before. I think I've done some Fuzz Zone uh, videos with it. Uh, the one where I get my SRV Strat Sound, I think I, uh, I showed you this one too. And there's the controls. We went through the Vibro, Vibroverb channel on this. Ambition, we have 14. Backing mm -hmm. vocals, also. I'm just so, yeah, ambitious. Yeah, backing vocals in Temporary yeah. Angel. Yeah, for right. sure. Roger is done recording. Let's just take a really good look at his original 57 Strat again. I've had the pleasure of actually working on this and doing a few adjustments on it. Look at that headstock. Really cool, man. The cigarette burn. Go down slow. All the chips on it. Yeah, it's hard to believe that when this was hanging in a music store window, Buddy Holly was, uh, was the latest and greatest at the time. Let's flip the back around. See if we could come around here and show you the back. Little paints worn off of it. Look at all of that. That is really hip. The neck is great. If I could just show you the neck, how much that's actually worn in. Get back a little. It's pretty intense. <laughs> 